If you're a return listener, skip to one minute and four seconds to start the session. Hey everyone, welcome back to a biometal fitness coaching session. Uh, from here on forward, we're going to call these wad pods, uh, kind of like a workout of the day in podcast form. They're going to be nice and quick and hopefully be able to bring you through some movements and some different types of meditations, warm ups, things like that, all having a coach right in your ear. If you're new to foam rolling, I recommend watching the YouTube video so that you can get a quick tutorial. Uh, I actually perform the foam rolling session with you. And if you have listened to this before or have watched it before or are completely familiar with foam rolling, then feel free to just listen to the Spotify or Anchor or Apple Podcasts podcast version. And that way you can take us with you wherever you go. So today we're going to do an eight minute foam rolling session together. I like to foam roll a lot before we work out. Um, so in this particular case, we're going to be moving through our transitions pretty quickly. But if you decide you need to spend a little bit more time on a spot, like it's feeling great and you just want to get a little bit more pressure there, feel free to pause the video or pause the podcast and move on whenever you feel comfortable. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's grab ourselves a foam roller and we are going to lay down on it and start with our lower back for 30 seconds. So I want you to place the foam roller right above the top of your buttocks, and we're going to roll from right there at the top of the butt up to about our shoulder blades. Hold this for a little while, roll back and forth, about 15 more seconds here. I want you to really make sure you're breathing through this foam rolling session. Just a few more seconds until we switch. And now we're going to go ahead and change and we're going to leave the foam roller right under our shoulder blades and we're going to take our hands directly over our head and we're going to bend at the foam roller just a little bit. We don't want to bend our back too much here. Lean in back almost like a crunch. Do a few more reps of this before we switch to our next movement. All right, in a couple of seconds, let's go ahead and switch to our next foam rolling spot. We're gonna stay on our back and we're gonna raise our hips up into the air. You're gonna bridge your hips up and we're gonna get the foam roller all the way up to our upper back and roll between our upper back neck area down to our shoulder blades. Making sure to breathe as you are rolling back and forth here. All right, so in three, two, one, let's go ahead and sit onto our left side. Let's get our left leg straight out on the ground and our right leg is gonna be bent. Let's take the foam roller and put it just under our left rib cage and find a nice spot here. We're gonna roll from our rib cage up to our shoulder. Back and forth for about 15 more seconds. Now let's leave that foam roller right in our shoulder blade. You're gonna have it right in your armpit and we're gonna take our chest and we're gonna roll back and forth on the foam roller here, really trying to target the back side of the shoulder and the inside of the shoulder right here through the armpit. Getting our chest to the floor and then turning up to the sky. Couple more reps here. All right, now that you're done with the left side, go ahead and switch to your right. Again, feel free to pause at any time to continue moving and working one spot if you'd like. Remember, we're gonna go ahead and get our right leg straight out with our left leg bent. And we're gonna roll from our right rib cage up to our shoulder blade. We're really trying to target our lat, sort of the outside of our lat here. Next portion, let's go ahead and leave that foam roller back into our right armpit and we're going to get our chest to the floor and open our chest up to the sky, back and forth. Focusing on putting some pressure into the foam roller so that your muscles begin to relax. Just a few more seconds here, and we're gonna go ahead and switch to rolling out our quads, the front side of our legs. You're gonna lay face down onto the ground with the foam roller onto just your left leg starting off here. We're gonna start from the middle of our thigh and move up to our hip. 
We don't want to go the full length yet. Just start at the mid thigh and move up to the hip. Put as much pressure as is comfortable. And about at this point, let's go ahead and now start rolling from our mid thigh down to the top of our knee. We're getting the bottom half of that thigh now. Remembering to breathe, this is a pretty sensitive spot for a lot of people. And as you begin to relax, go ahead and start rolling from the top of the knee all the way up to the hip. We're going to try and get two or three full length rolls here. Go nice and slow. And let's get ready to transition to our right side. All right, in three, two, one, go ahead and switch to your right thigh. Remember, we're going to start at the mid thigh here, and we're going to go mid thigh up to the hip. Trying to isolate just the top of the quad here. After a couple of reps, let's go ahead and switch, starting from the mid thigh down to the top of the knee. We're getting that lower half of our thigh again. Now let's go ahead and roll the full length of your right quad from the knee all the way up to the hip. Don't forget to breathe. Get one last full length roll on the quad and then let's go ahead and switch to our left hamstring, the back of the thigh here. Just like the quad, we're going to go ahead and start with just the top half. So you're going to roll from basically the bottom of your butt cheek down to about mid-thigh, mid-hamstring here. You're going to go back and forth just on this spot. After a couple of reps here, let's go ahead and switch to the bottom of the thigh. So now st starting at the knee, going up to our mid-thigh. Rolling back and forth from the knee to our mid hamstring here. Get a few reps in and then we're going to start going full length from our bottom of our butt cheek down to our knee. Make note of some really sore areas and again feel free to pause if you feel like you need to spend a little more time here on the legs. And time to switch. Let's get to our right thigh. And we're going to start top of the hamstring from the bottom of the butt cheek down to your mid thigh. Changing again from the knee up to the mid thigh, getting the bottom half of that hamstring. And finally, let's roll the entire hamstring from the bottom of the butt cheek to the knee. And that's your session. This is a pretty solid one in order to get you ready for squats or anything where you're doing kind of a full body workout. I'm feeling nice and loose here and I hope you are too. Thanks for tuning in, whether you're on YouTube or on a podcast and we'll see you in the next one.